What's up everybody, this is JP, we're about to tour you around the new Magnolia XL. So it's uh, pretty much the Magnolia but with a few difference. So yeah, come in and I'll show you around. <laughs> Welcome inside the Magnolia XL. Uh, this is a modified version of the original Magnolia that we did uh, a few months ago. Um, I'm going to tell you uh, the main differences and if you want to see more details about the Magnolia layout, uh, we have another video that explains pretty much um, the process of designing this home and we go deeper into details in the previous video. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with um, the differences from the Magnolia and the Magnolia XL. Um, the main difference is we added an extra two feet uh, for the client to, to fit a bath inside this house and we mirrored uh, the kitchen uh, just because the client wanted it that way. And um, a special needs that uh, the client wanted to add, she has a few cats, well, a few, several cats. So we had to make adjustments and make, uh, make sure that um, the house would be um, perfect for her to live with her cats uh, full time. So here we have the, the cat door. So um, here we have a flap and there's another flap in the, in the outside and it, it can be locked from the outside. So um, all the cats can go in and out without having to open the door. Um, in this custom cabinet here, we had another custom cabinet in the first Magnolia, but that one we had to fit um, these small doors and there's going to be a litter box and there's one on each side. And um, she wanted her cats to be able to have access to the loft. So we had these uh, little shelves here so the cats can jump on that one, on the countertop, on that one, and then go up to the loft. So they can access pretty much uh, all, uh, all the house. And yeah, so we mirrored the kitchen. So that means that in the first Magnolia, this here, the, uh, the closet was on the other side. Here we switched the layout. So we have the, uh, the hooks at the entrance for coats. In the entrance closet, uh, we have the, uh, the closet rod. We have the electrical panel and there's the, uh, the hookup for, uh, for cable as well. And down there, that's the first, first time we installed that, it's a central vacuum. So there's plenty of, uh, of hose to be able to go all around uh, the house. So this is the place where we installed uh, the ladder uh, to the loft. And here we have the pull-up pantry that we start to install pretty much in all of our houses now. It's quite convenient. Here we have uh, another countertop here for a, sort of a breakfast area. Um, and there's a, a nice window in there. She's gonna fit a microwave um, in, this, in this area here. And we have a huge drawer down there. Um, for the rest of the kitchen, she has that nice peninsula like in the, the original Magnolia and there's plenty of storage in there. She's got um, the oven here, she's got um, an induction cooktop here and then she has some more storage down there. So there's a lot of storage and um, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat. <laughs> so the bathroom is located in the same area uh, than it is in the original Magnolia. So it, it's accessed through that uh, sliding door. So when I told you she added an extra two feet uh, in the bathroom, that allowed her to put the washer dryer inside the bathroom instead of the kitchen uh, as it was in the first Magnolia. And in addition to that, she was able to fit um, a standard bath 30 by, by, by 60. And uh, so yeah, that's something she wanted and uh, we were uh, able to fit it in there with no problem. And um, for the rest of the, the layout, we still have that nature's hand composting toilet. And we have this uh, custom vanity here. And that extra space also allowed her to, um, to install this, uh, this cabinet here. And it's like uh, 32 inches deep, so she can fit a lot of stuff in there. So yeah, that's uh, kind of a big bathroom for, uh, for a tiny house, but sometimes people don't want to, have to be uh, feeling cramped a lot. And uh, depending on your needs, it's, it's always good to be able to uh, to extend the, the space inside the house. All right, so we have the mechanical room here and uh, we're, we managed to fit everything in there. We have the fire, uh, fire in, uh, so we have the fire extinguisher here. We have the radiant floor system, the hot water tank, 
and there's a humidity sensor that goes into the drip pan underneath just in case something happens then you you know it before the, there's a flood inside your house and um, we have all the several filters that we have inside our home and there are, all the valves and all the the pipes are um, identified so people know how it works the mechanical inside their house and we think it's really important for people to know how to deal with the, the plumbing and everything inside their house so because we make uh, four season homes we have this um, this addition here um, it's a switch and um, it act activates the heating wire that you can install underneath the house and that prevents um, the, the water pipe from freezing and the, the peat trap as well from freezing so if you're in a, in a cold place you need to have that heating wire to the, the main entrance uh, for water the water entrance needs to be heated uh, in order not to freeze it during the winter so yeah that's pretty much the same uh, bath uh, well <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the master bedroom is pretty much the same as the, the original Magnolia. It's, it's, really, uh, it's really bright, there's plenty of windows and it's full height, so you really feel like you're in a, a regular bedroom. And uh, in opposite of the first model, she installed a, um, a queen size bed instead of a, of a king size bed, which allows her to have more clearance around the, around the bed. And then she has this IKEA bed base with tons of drawers, like there's six of them. So there's uh, extra storage in there. We have uh, the, the custom cabinet here that allows a lot of, uh, of other storage. Another addition we put inside the Magnolia XL is the, um, this cabinet here. Um, it's a narrow uh, space. It's sort of a closet, but it made, uh, it's made to have some uh, space saving hangers. So instead of having your, uh, your clothes that way, you install them that way. And then you can stack uh, like uh, a few shirts, a few pants, uh, but it's extra space and that's something that uh, she wanted us to add inside her house. And it's, um, it's built in inside the wall. So it's eight inches deep, but it only exceeds from uh, five inches. So that's, uh, you don't, you can circulate around the, around the bed without having this. Um, yeah, in your way. Another difference in the Magnolia XL is um, the loft. Uh, the loft is way bigger than uh, the first model, just because the fact that there's two feet, um, extra two feet in the bathroom, and then the loft exceeds uh, over the kitchen, so that gives extra space as well. So I'm gonna show you around the loft so we can see how big it is. So the ladder, once again, is pretty comfortable and so easy to install. You just need to remove it and you're already set to install it. And it's really lightweight because it's cedar. So once it's installed there, and it's, re it's really comfortable, it's not too steep. So you don't really need your hands, but of course we recommend you use them. And yeah, so what we see here, we have the extra overhang. And then, so the loft is pretty much uh, 12 feet long. So that allows the client to install a queen size bed in the bottom of there. And there's still plenty of space to have that reading, reading nook here. And also we have the access to the, to the rooftop deck through here. I'm gonna take you on the rooftop for a date. All right, so um, welcome on the rooftop deck. So we installed that skylight and it's a uh, Velux, it's high quality skylight. So there's no way you're gonna get water inside your house with that type of rooftop um, skylight. So yeah, the rooftop deck is made out of a cedar. So it's, uh, it's gonna be more durable in time. And um, because the house is gonna be installed for uh, a long period of time, um, it's not worth it having some, uh, some, uh, some ramps that can unfold and everything. And because of the price, uh, we really recommend if you're gonna be at the same place for a long time, just have the flat deck and then install the ramps on spot. It's, uh, it's way more efficient and uh, it's cheaper as well. So this type of skylight, um, it's meant for, uh, for harsh weather. There's a dome on it that protects the actual window that's underneath it. So you don't have to worry about the, the snow load or hailing or uh, whatever uh, temperature you might face uh, wherever you are. So this is really meant for, uh, for any type of weather and it's, uh, it's high quality. That pretty much sums up the, the tour of the Magnolia XL. So uh, we just guided you through the main differences from the original model. So we didn't went into, uh, into details for, for, for that model. But um, right now I'm standing on a new product that we offer at Minimalist. Uh, it's, a, uh, 
It's a deck, it's uh, aluminum frame and it's um, some uh, cedar flooring. And uh, so you don't really need to buy a house uh, to get to, to have access to this. But um, what we like about it, it's really lightweight. It can be installed within uh, 15 minutes by a single person. So, um, so yeah, if you want to have uh, more information, you, if you want to buy one, uh, just contact us and uh, we'll get you. There's uh, a few dimensions available and uh, it can be good for a regular house, a camping, campground, tiny house community. So uh, yeah, reach out to us and we'll get you information for that. And it's really exciting what, what's happening with us right now. We have several projects on the way and uh, thanks for following us uh, on Instagram, Facebook and, uh, and YouTube. So we're, we're gonna try to make more videos on YouTube because you guys seem to appreciate it a lot. And uh, yeah, and we have a new website, it's online right now and it's really easier to get a pricing for a house. So don't hesitate to contact us. We deliver everywhere, Canada, USA. So uh, thanks for watching and enjoy the balance of your day. What is that?